Okay, Jeff, so we've talked about the 240 volt misting machines uh, for ULV. We've also talked about the two different versions of the backpack spray that we've gotten a hold of. So the battery and the petrol and how to convert those to ULV or calibrate them. Now we're looking at the, we're looking at the hot fogging equipment. And we've got two devices here that are very similar uh, in size and operation. We have the TF35 by Igeba and we've got the Vector Fog H200 SF. So could you tell me a little bit about each device and what it takes to set them up to use with a water-based formulation like Aqua K? Alright, so what we're looking at here is thermal fogging or hot fogging some people call it. What we were looking at before with our misters ULVs and more cold fogging. Uh, so what we, we're doing is and rather than trying to shatter the droplets when they enter the airstream, we're vaporising those droplets into smaller ones um, as, a, as a fogger. Both machines here are pretty similar. Um, they're different companies that are making them, but the technology is almost identical. Um, I guess one thing we have to consider when we're going from a, an oil-based or a solvent-based product to a water-based product, such as Aqua K, is that we need to adapt the machine accordingly. Uh, with solvent based products we're trying to keep them back towards the flame so we can vaporise them effectively. With a water based product we want to get them further away from the flame so we don't, we don't evaporate the product too quickly and we don't denature the active ingredient as well. So these machines I guess have been adapted in different ways. With respect to the vector fog it's kind of an all in one. Um, so it, it can do oil based or water based uh, just at the flick of a switch. So let's have a look at that and I'll show you what I mean. So with a vector fog, we've got a, an inline tap from fully closed to open. We've got our fluid coming from the solution tank and we've got to make a choice. Have we got a solvent based product, or oil solvent based product or water based product? If we've got a solvent based product, we want the fluid to go closer to the, the hot end of the, uh, the fogger tube, closer to the flame and that's this line here. If we're going with a, a water-based product, we want to get it a further away. And so we'll change the tap flow to this further position at the end of the fogger tube. So you can see this particular machine will do both types of products without any um, change to the, um, you know, or any um, modifications. Okay, so pretty much the same technology as I said before. The difference is we've got a solution tap um, with a lever on it. The difference between the iGeva and the vector fog unit is that instead of a rotary dial valve, we've got a three position valve from off to venting to fully on, as opposed to uh, from closed to open. As we move further down the, um, the fluid delivery line, you can see that we've only got one choice in iGeva. Compared to a vector fog that, that can either do oil or water based products with just the turn of a, a handle, the IGEBA goes through a complete conversion process. In this case, we're looking at the conversion of a water-based product. So we've got the fluid delivery line right towards the end of the fog tube, and we've got a, a flare on the end of the fog tube as well. When the, product, uh, the fogger was delivered, it came with a different fog tube without the flaring, and the fluid delivery was further back in the fog tube. So what we're trying to do is exactly the same as a vector fog, except it's either or in the case of an IGEBA.